outline. We, it was uh, an absolute that we began with an outline. Uh, we uh, categorized the different parts of what we were going to discuss, uh, depending on the type uh, uh, type of speech we were giving. Uh, if it was uh, extemporaneous, then the outline was fairly short. If it was a very formal speech, it was a much more uh, uh, carefully developed outline. And once we had that, we would, uh, you know, we developed our, our topic very carefully, did our draft, and then essentially destroyed the draft and started over. Because uh, often we found that we, we were trained that uh, just to do that first outline and that first draft and then go with that is so incomplete. You really need to develop the details of, of your topic. Do you still do that now? Still do that now. Uh, I never give a talk with a first draft of anything. Do you, well, do you generally write out your speeches and read them, or do you use the outline and take it with you to I, the I develop an outline, mold that into a more formally written speech, mm -hmm. and then set it aside and start over. Right. And what I have found as I've gotten through the decades is rarely do I read a speech. And I always, even to this day, practice my speech in my office, in front of a mirror, on someone, just to get, get that feedback. It was, it was some movie I saw long ago, and I may, I may paraphrase this wrong, but the inscription, it was some violent movie, but the, the, one of the, uh, the actors had this beautiful, I think it was a 45 caliber pistol, inscribed, victory loves preparation. Preparation, because... Preparation gives you the confidence you need, and when you're confident, you just you come across to the audience as such. And a confident speaker puts the audience at ease. Clearly, there's nothing worse than sitting as a, an attendee and seeing someone nervous at the podium. 